Hello. Hello and welcome to Ticker Billa. What would you like to do today? Are you in the mood for a song? Or perhaps you'd like a story. Or maybe you'd like to play a game. Or perhaps we should just make lots of noise. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's that noise? <laughs> what noise? <laughs> that noise. Oh, that noise. It sounds like a roaring animal. Mm. And look, it looks like we're in the middle of a jungle. I know. Let's pretend we're all explorers and we can explore around the Tickabilla jungle and find out who's making that roaring sound. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Now, here's an animal hiding in the trees. Ah, it's a monkey. Now, do monkeys make a roaring sound? No. Monkeys go... <laughs> Look at this. Do you know what animal this is? S it's a snake. Do snakes make a roaring sound? No. Snakes go... Roar! There's that sound again. I think it's coming from here. It's a crocodile. <laughs> but crocodiles don't roar, do they? No. Crocodiles snap their jaws like this. Snap, 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 snap. <laughs> so who is making that roaring sound? Roar! Oh, Tamba! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> I'm roaring like a tiger! Roar! Roar! <laughs> Hello! Will you roar like a tiger with me? Are you ready? Roar! 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 What's it like to be a tiger in the jungle? What's it like to be a tiger in the jungle? What's it like to hide in grass and frighten all who pass? Here we go, let me show you what To be a snake in the jungle What's it like to hide in trees And frighten all the bees Here we go, let me show you what we do Wriggle, wriggle, hiss Wriggle, wriggle, hiss oh, Look up here, it's me Wriggle, wriggle, hiss Wriggle, wriggle, hiss Listen for the rustle in the breeze
snap, snap. What's it like to be an animal in the jungle? What's it like to be an animal in the jungle? For what's it like to sit in trees and frighten all the bees? Here we go, let me show you what we do. Roar, roar, roar. Look down here, it's me. Wrinkle, wrinkle, hiss. Snap, snap, snap. Listen for the rustle. Listen for the rustle. Listen for the rustle in the trees. <laughs> Did you join in with the animal noises? Did you? Because there are some more animals making noises through one of the windows. Shall we have a look? Come on then. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched? Which one will it be? It's the round window. Can you think of an animal which likes to sing? That's right, birds like to sing. And some birds like to sing at the start of the day as the sun comes up. This is called the dawn chorus. If you are in a garden, or a forest, or the woods as it starts to get light in the morning, then you will hear lots of different birds singing a dawn chorus. Birds sing to let other birds know that this bit of the wood belongs to them. But birds make other noises too. Listen to this bird. It's making a tapping noise with its beak. This bird is called a woodpecker because it likes to peck holes in the woody trunks of trees. And here is a place that's full of trees. It's a rainforest. Because the rainforest is so big and the trees are so tall, birds that live in rainforests have to call very loudly. Listen to the noise these birds make. But here is another animal that can fly, which makes a very unusual noise indeed. This is a hammer-headed bat, and it's flapping its wings and making that high-pitched noise to speak to other bats. It looks like another bat has heard the call and come to see what all the noise is about. Here's another animal which makes a strange noise. This is a beetle. Now, this type of beetle moves its neck backwards and forwards to make a rubbing noise. And this beetle is making a noise by rubbing its body against its wing cases. Here's a beetle that makes a noise by banging its head against the wood. And this beetle bangs with its bottom to make a noise. Now you might recognise these animals. These are frogs and they live in a pond. They make a noise using their throat, which they blow up like a balloon to make a croaking noise. Can you croak like a frog? Isn't it amazing how many different sounds animals can make? Now, Tamba, would you like to play a noisy game? Oh, yeah! I love games. How 
how do you play it? Well, I've hidden your tractor in the Tickabilla house somewhere <gasps> and you've got to try to find it. Now, to help you find it, I'm going to clap. So, if I clap loudly like this... That means you're getting close to your tractor. <gasps> but if I clap quietly like this... That means you're getting further away from your tractor. Oh, I see. So the louder you clap, the closer I am to my tractor. That's right. I've got it. <laughs> OK, are you ready to help me look? Come on! <laughs> now then, where can it be? Let's try this way. Oh, that's quite quiet clapping. Maybe we'll go this way. <laughs> Ooh. I can't see it anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. You're not sitting on my tractor, are you, Laura? No, I'm not sitting on it, Tamba. Okay. Um. It's getting louder, isn't it? I uh, must be getting closer. Um, let me see. Um, can you see my tractor? Ah, uh, uh, oh, it's up there. We found it. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a really good game. Yeah, it is. Would you like to join in, Simon? Oh, yes, please. OK. Well, this time we'll hide the toy tractor and you have to find it. OK. <laughs> and when you get close to it, we're going to clap really loudly like this. <laughs> right. And when you get further away, we'll clap very quietly like this. OK. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, you cover your eyes up and count to five. Right then. Shh. One, two. No peeping. Three, four, five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you ready to join in clapping? <laughs> Off we go right then. Right then, Tamber. Is it over here? Oh. They're clapping quietly, so I don't think it's over here. How about up by the windows? Ah! <laughs> They're clapping a bit more loudly. What about by the stairs? Ah, I've gone quiet again, so it's not over here. But I wonder if it's up by the chairs. Ah, louder clapping, so I must be quite near to it. Oh, I must be really near to it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Found it! <laughs> no, oh, well, well done, done Simon. Simon! That was a great noisy game! <laughs> ah, and there's another noise. The noise of the clock. Will you say the clock rhyme with me? Ready? Tickabilla, tockabilla, tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the tickabilla clock? Well, the long hand is pointing up towards the number... 12. Do you know what that means? That means it's something o'clock. And the shorthand is pointing towards the number two. So the clock says it's two o'clock. But what's underneath the clock? <laughs> it's a hippopotamus. And today's story is called Ruby and the Noisy Hippo. La, 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 bang, bang, bang. What is that awful noise? said Ruby. It's me, shouted Hippo. Can I come to the sweet shop with you? Well, only if you promise to be very quiet, said Ruby, or people will stare. I promise, whispered Hippo. And he was very quiet for a little while. But by the time they reached the post box, Hippo was singing. No, no, no. Be quiet, said Ruby. You promised. 
by the time they reached the telephone box, Hippo was singing at the top of his voice. <laughs> by the time they reached the bus stop, Hippo was singing and stamping his feet. <laughs> That's it, said Ruby. You're too noisy. People are staring. You can't come to the sweet shop with me. Poor me, whispered Hippo. <laughs> then he had an idea. Hippo followed Ruby secretly all the way to the sweet shop. Um, one bag of strawberry fizz bombs, please, said Ruby. And then she went outside with her sweets. And suddenly, a great big sweet-eating monster jumped out at Ruby. Give me your strawberry fizz bombs, he shouted. Well, Ruby was scared, too scared to move, too scared to make a sound. Bang, bang, bang! Hippo stomped out of the bushes. Leave my friend alone! <laughs> the monster ran home, crying. Thank you, Hippo, said Ruby. Maybe it's OK to be noisy sometimes. And Ruby and Hippo walked home together, singing and stamping their feet. La, 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 the bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Would you like to have a hippopotamus living next door to you? I think it'd be really noisy. Well, I'm going to make something really noisy now. A shaker! Now, to make our shaker, we're going to need two containers like these. Now, the first thing we need to do is to fill them with some tissue paper. Now, I've got blue and yellow. And what we need to do is to just push the tissue paper into our plastic containers. You need to push all the tissue paper to the side like that and let's do it with our yellow one so you need to push it right down until it reaches the bottom and then push it to the side now the next thing we need to do is that we need to fill it with some chickpeas now these are chickpeas these are dried chickpeas now, you can't eat these yet. What you need to do is you need to cook them until they're soft. These are really, really hard. And they're going to make a great sound in our shaker. And then I'm going to sticky tape our yellow container on top of our blue container. Let's get a big dollop of sticky tape. And if I Put that all the way round. Now this sticky tape's really good because you can't see it when you put it around your shaker. Now, there's our shaker. Now, I think we could do with decorating it. Now over here, I've got some stars. Some gold stars and some silver stars. And I'm going to use them to decorate our shaker. If I put some of these silver ones on the top of our shaker like that all the way round, if I turn it upside down and I'll put some of these gold ones on the blue part of our shaker. Now you don't have to use these sticky stars, you can cut shapes out of magazines or even use wrapping paper. Now there, our shaker's finished. Now let's see if it works. Hey! Now I've made another one for Tamba. Ooh. 
there's another sound for us to listen to through one of the windows. Now, this wonderful musical sound is made by an instrument called an oboe. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched? Which one will it be? It's the arched window. Claire is playing a musical instrument called an oboe. It makes a lovely sound. But how is one made? Igor is fixing a piece of square shaped wood into this machine so he can change the shape of it. The wood spins very quickly and when the sharp blade touches it, it cuts away bits of wood. Igor has to wear safety glasses as the bits of wood fly everywhere. Up and down, up and down, until the square shaped piece of wood turns into a round shaped piece of wood called a cylinder. This is the start of a musical instrument called an oboe. Igor takes the cylinders to be stored with lots more cylinders so the wood gets harder and after a while they are ready to have holes put in them. Once the cylinder has the right sized holes through the middle of it, Mike can add more holes to the sides. These holes are what make the tune when the oboe is finished. Mike uses different size cutters to drill different size holes into the oboe. It looks quite difficult as each hole has to be in exactly the right place, otherwise the finished oboe won't make the right sounds. There are lots of holes in the oboe now. Meanwhile, Neil is putting a metal sheet into another machine to cut out some more shapes. The metal gets hot when the machine is cutting it, so lots of soapy water is sprayed on top of it. This will cool the metal down. When it is finished, Neil cleans the soapy water off the sheet. you see the cut out shapes? The shapes are made into buttons like these and it is up to Graham to stick different bits together. He does this by heating up the buttons, adding some special glue called solder and melting them together. Look how it sizzles when it's put into water to cool down. He's got lots more to do and when he's finished, Claire can finish off and put all the parts of the oboe together. Each finished button is attached to the oboe and Claire uses a tiny little screwdriver to fix it in place. When all the buttons are screwed on, Claire slots the three parts together. Look how shiny the buttons are! Finally, the mouthpiece goes on and then she is ready to play it! Did you like the sound the oboe makes? You don't have to play a musical instrument to make a sound. You could use your body. You could click your fingers. Or you could clap your hands. <laughs> what kind of sounds can you make? I wonder where that noise is coming from. 
of noise. <gasps> they're coming. Oh, well, I'm sure the noise was coming from over here. No, it's all peaceful and quiet now. Hmm. Which is just as well, because after all the noise in the Tickabilla house today, I'm in the right mood for a nice relax. Me too. When life is rather quiet, there's nothing much to do. When no one is about, apart of course from you. There's nothing that is better, more fun for girls and boys than to let out all your feelings and make a lot of Noise! You can bash, you can crash, you can bang and you can clang You can ding, you can ding, you can even ding a ling You can bash, you can crash, you can bang and you can clang You can ding, you can ding, you can even ding a ling 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 What can you do if nothing can be found? If nothing's lying round your room that makes a noisy sound There's always something that you've got that makes a special noise You have it always with you, it's something called your Voice! You can tweak, you can talk, you can squeak and you can squawk You can scream, you can shout, you can squeak and jump about You can speak, you can talk, you can squeak and you can squawk You can scream, you can shout, you can squeak and jump about Bow, 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 You've made some special sounds, some people call a din You've let your noisy feelings out, they're better out than in. There's one more thing we have to do, it's really for the best. I'm sure you know what that thing is, it's time to take a... rest. Has, has the noise stopped now? <laughs> Yes, it has. Yeah. Oh, didn't you like my playing? Oh, I don't remember it was you making the noise. <laughs> yes! Can I play some more? Oh, no, thank you, Tamba. I think it's time for us to go now. <laughs> Perhaps you could try clicking your fingers. Or clapping your hands. Or maybe make a shaker. Well, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>